morning everyone and welcome to my floss tube channel if you've not been here before then welcome my name is sammy um i think i've had about 50 new subscribers since the last video so thank you very much um, and obviously welcome to everybody that joins me every time um so i've I feel like I've got so much to go through with you. It's only been three weeks, but I've been doing loads. <laughs> um, so I've taken a bit of time this morning. Um, Ryan is actually doing his motorbike test this morning, which is really exciting for him. And Liz is at school, so I've got some free time before mom duties kick in. I've got here, cleverly disguised, I've got a big ironing pile and my uh, ironing board set up all ready to go. So I'm quite happy if this lasts a long time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, I've just got so much that's been going on. Um, I was ready to sort of film a week ago, but then I realised I'd not actually done that much stitching. I'd been making... Um, bags for the winter boxes that I've been doing um, and then I got loads of Christmas fabric in and I got quite a few orders off of that so yeah I've only actually had a week's worth of a stitching but I've worked on a few different projects so I think you'll be happy to see those um, and then I've <laughs> just been busy going all the places and doing all the things uh, so we very quickly got out of Halloween mode um, and now we're into Christmas mode so we've been a few places to see you know all the lights and everything um, which has been lovely because Lizzie's really excited about it she's she turned three in August so you know this year she really knows about Santa and presents and you've got to be good and you know you've got to go to bed because Santa's watching so yeah we can we can use that to our advantage now <laughs> which is fun um so yeah lots of things um we've also gone a little bit mad on the retreats so if you don't know um myself and my friend andrea who is the curly cross stitcher on instagram we have a floss friends group on facebook and that is all about people meeting up crafting together and then we have some bigger retreats so we already had one in may um and november next year and they they sold out straight away um, and then last week we launched an additional date just because we had quite a few people on the reserve list we've gone to a different venue which i think is going to be better it's a little bit bigger um, they offer a two course lunch and you get sort of lots of hot drinks and they have a sweet snack station throughout the day I'm going to be all for that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, so that one is going to be a little bit better. That is a, the Holiday Inn um, on Junction 33. So, oh, excuse me, just at the end of the Sheffield Parkway. Um, and that is on the 29th and 30th of July. There is still some tickets left, but not many. Um, and we've got some really good guests coming to that. So Lauren from Flossabilities and her mom Lynn, also known as Mama Flossabilities, are coming as our special guests. And then we also have Michelle from Mama Loves You GB joining us. And I'm really excited because I've never met Michelle, but obviously like everybody else, I watch her videos and, and follow her progress. And obviously she she, she has her own patterns and she's got her own Etsy shop so I'm really excited to see what she brings so if you did want to book on then do just drop me an email I'll put my email address down at the bottom or you can um just send me a dm or something on instagram um so yeah so if it wasn't big enough that we already had three retreats that we're organizing ourselves we've also <laughs> got some other retreats that we're going to so we'd already booked on to the bella filipina retreat in may that's run by zarina from hawkins hobbies um i keep wanting to say hawkins hollow <laughs> i don't know why um but yeah she's she's running the first bella retreat which i'm so excited about um so we'd already booked that um it's the week before our may retreat so that is just going to be mental busy but so good i'm excited to go to a retreat where i'm not the host and i can just relax and and let everybody else look after me for a change that'll be good um and then we booked on to the no bam retreat in october which again is from zarina and that is i think it 
it stands for not only Bellas and Mirabilias. I think you can kind of stitch on whatever you want at that one. Um, so the Bella one, you have to work on Bellas while you're there. So it's a, it's a bit more structured. Um, and then, was it yes? No, not yesterday. Maybe f today's Tuesday. I think it was like Friday or Saturday. Um, Teresa Little Stitcher posted in the Essex Needle Retreat that tickets were going available. And I didn't even really message Andrea. I was just like, your count is in. And then afterwards I messaged her and saying we're going. Um, so we managed to get a twin room together um, and that is happening in September. So we've got two in May, one in July, one in September, one in October, one in November. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I better start working some overtime. <laughs> oh, but I'm so excited. So hopefully I will see you um, at one of these retreats and then we went to the knitting and stitching show this last weekend which is in Harrogate it's the first time I've ever been um, Andrea bought it for my Christmas present and she booked us on to a few classes and I'll show you what we made later on towards the end um, but yeah I, I thought it was just going to be mainly knitting and I was like oh, you know I, I don't mind a bit of crochet but you know I'm, I can't knit I just can't do it I've tried <laughs> um but yeah I, I didn't think there was going to be much there but she said Zarina was going to be there and um Kate from Sparklies was going to be there so we're like yeah let's let's book on let's do a couple of glass, uh, classes and we'll uh, make a day of it I was so overwhelmed it was incredible I would definitely recommend it so they do the one in Harrogate and then I think they also do it at Ali Pali um like London way um but it was not very expensive to get in. I think it was less than £20 for the ticket. Um, it ran Thursday to Sunday. Um, and it was huge. There was like three three halls, I think, of shops. And then they also had um, like a gallery sections to present people's work. And it was breathtaking. I think from seeing all this I've kind of joined myself up to start like four new hobbies <laughs> I was really inspired um I, I did take some photos they're on my Instagram if you want to have a look um but yeah just to see these giant quilts and they were so intricate and detailed they must have taken so long to make and then um like the little needle felt things that were so small but just the detail in them um very very talented people at that event so if you do get a chance to go next year i would highly recommend it i went with a 50 pound budget my god i don't think i even got through the door without spending that um i've got all the haul at the end so i'll show you what i bought and i've tried to keep everybody's business cards um so you can see it but yeah it was a lot of fun um and we we got the chance to meet some amazing people as well people that you've sort of you see on floss tube or you kind of chat to or see on instagram but you don't actually know um we were totally enabled by the chatelaine uh, table um i met nadine from let me i've written it down nadine nads x stitch on floss tube um oh god they're projects that they were working on you just don't get the detail when you look at a chatelaine picture seeing them in the flesh were just amazing um so in return for my tickets for the knit and a stitching show i paid for andrea to get a mini chatelaine kit from zarina and then i've pre-ordered one as well so you will see our first ever chatelaines on a future video um, I'm scared, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you know, the thought of trying new specialty stitches, but, you know, they gave us some tips on how best to work on a chatelaine and how to approach it, and, um, yeah, I think doing a mini one will let me know if I enjoy it or not, but I think I will, they're just so beautiful, um, and their retreat is fully booked this year, theirs is in July, 
um, as well but then they've not released the dates for 2024 but I will definitely be joining them on a retreat in the future um, there were a few other ladies there and I'm sorry I don't know their names but Nadine was lovely dead chatty and made me feel really welcome so um, if that's how their retreats are going to be then I definitely want to join up um, and they do have a Facebook page um, I think it's just UK Chatelaine retreats or something but I'll try and find it and link it below um, so yeah, so it's been <coughs> lots of fun, good weekend, meeting lots of people, a lot of friendly faces, finally met Zarina and Kate, um, and um, of course Zarina's partner Rob, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting them at the retreats again, because they were so lovely, and I spent a fortune, I was totally enabled by their stalls, they had so many kits, it was hard to choose, um, so yeah, lots and lots of fun um so yeah oh god yeah the other thing that i've been doing is i've been <laughs> scouring youtube um and kind of self-teaching myself on how to build a website which uh, <laughs> has been really difficult but i've managed it um so i've now got a website i'm trying to move away from etsy because as you all know the fees are extortionate if i sell something for like four pound i think i come out with about three pound and I, I like to make things affordable not to exclude anyone but at the same time you know you gotta earn a bit of money um so yeah so i've got a website i'll put it here somewhere I might have already put it throughout the video I don't know uh, that's littleloops.co.uk um, I have all my smalls on there I'm planning on putting my bags on in the future as well once I've done the winter boxes because making 20 bags of the same pattern has not been as fun as I expected it to be um, but they're all ready to go out next week and I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the pattern that's in there in a bit because Andrea stitched that up for me she's done the model stitch um, but yeah all my small patterns are on there and then I've joined up with four artists who I met just through social media through Instagram um, they are incredibly talented and we have decided to collaborate together to do some full coverage charting my plan for next year is to start kitting but I need to just slow down a little bit because I'm doing all the things right now so I want to have a lot of free time over Christmas so it's it's on the agenda for next year um but yeah for now there is charts up there I've still got about 20 to do they're not a quick thing as anybody will know who's charted patterns in the past um so yeah I'm, I'm really excited about that and because I want to celebrate it with you guys I'm gonna do a giveaway um I'll mention it at the end as well but I'm gonna do one free small pattern so you can choose any one of the little loops um small so whether it be a sampler or one of my goth girls or pretty much any anything that is on there you can choose um and then i'm going to give one full coverage away to somebody as well you can't have both but you can enter for both so the same as usual you have to be liked subscribed and if you comment in the box below with the word small or full um, anywhere in a sentence please don't put giveaway or freebie or anything like that um, it does have to be hidden in a sentence for you to enter so if you just to clarify so you have to like the video you have to subscribe and comment with either small or full in the comment below and i will reveal the winner on the next video which will be two to three weeks again so we're almost at 15 minutes in and i've not talked <laughs> about anything that i've been working on so let me get some of my whips out before i show you everything that i bought and made at the stitching show um, so the first one, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that the next Goth Girls um, has now been released. And I did give people a little sneak peek, and I think most people guessed who it was. Um, so this is Emily, who is the Corpse Bride. Hopefully you can see her well. Um, I showed sort of the top with the rings and people guessed straight away. 
So there she is. She was a lot of fun to stitch up. I think she's about 3,300 stitches, so not too big at all. Um, yeah, she looks great. Really like her. And I will show you how they are all together. So we started with Wednesday. Um, then we've got Winnie from Hocus Pocus. We've got Sabrina from The Adventures of Sabrina Spellman. We've got Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Let me just come in a bit closer. Um, and then the fifth one is Emily. Um, and a few people asked me about the fabric. It is gorgeous. This is 18 count witchy night opalescent from Sophie the Stitchy Ferret, who you will know I, I am a huge fan of Sophie's um, and definitely recommend her fabric. Let me just write that down and I will tag Sophie's shop down at the bottom. I think she's doing her last um sort of ordering um in november so if you want to get a custom fabric you've got to get that in quite quick um and the goth girls live in my bellatrix bag which i did make for a customer but then realized and made a mistake the, <laughs> the fabric's upside down so rather than scrapping it i just kept that one for myself um, my next one I showed you on the last video was one that I charted up um, from Heather Ad uh, Edwards um, and this is the frozen one. She just looks so gorgeous. I love the details so much. Um, so I didn't do too much on her. I, again, like I said, I've only had about a week's worth of stitching. Um, and I did about two or three hundred stitches. I did some more round the hands and then started filling the hair and this eyebrow in. Um, I think I did like two or three colours and just worked until I finished the threads. Um, so yeah, look at her eyes. They're so incredible. So yeah, I think once I get into her hair, it'll go a lot quicker because obviously to get, um, you know, the detail, there's been a bit of confetti around the eyes and then in the hands, um, but not so much in the hair. So once I finish doing the hands, I'm, I think I'll get flying with that. Um, but the problem is, I think stitching on something as detailed as that and obviously I want to do it as best as I possibly can um I need to really be able to concentrate and I tend to do my stitching on an evening when it's really dark I've moved craft rooms again which you might notice I'm in the conservatory now because Ryan needs the garage for his motorbike <laughs> um which is better it's a, it's a lot lighter in the day but at night it's quite dark I've only got one sort of central light um so yeah it's working on skin tones on white fabric at night is not easy um oh and i forgot to say this is on um 28 count um why got gridded um and this is one over one full cross using dmc so yeah i do love that one i need to get um a serger <laughs> that is on my list <laughs> um my next oh i forgot to say this again um so i've now done 5988 and that is at 4.06 percent i'm chatting too quick and i'm missing out the details i'm sorry guys um so the next one um i just spent one night on this and that is oh heaven and earth witching hour and that's by Lisa Parker. I've got so many Lisa Parker heaven and nerfs that I just don't know when I'm going to get them all done. I need to live to be like 170. <laughs> um, so I had Andrea come round and she it's the first time she's been to my house and she wanted me to do like a little mini whip parade for her. And as I was going through them, I was like, oh, I've not worked on that. I've not worked on that. Um, and I forgot how much I missed this one. So I pulled it out that evening and, and spent a night working on it so here it is oh and i just love it so so much so this is 
I did about 500 ish. Um, this is now on 46,650 stitches and is at 63%. Um, my goal was to have this finished in October, which would have been its year's birthday, um, but I've just been too busy. I've just literally not had chance. Um, so I worked on this section here. Here is no that's a lie i think it's like here is the bottom of the pattern and then it's all done i've got like wait what is it one two three four five. Oh no here sorry here is the bottom of the pattern i've got like 70 uh box 70 stitches down and then that's the bottom yeah i just love it so much despite the confetti i love it <laughs> so yeah my i need to get i need to get working on that more regularly i think i need to try and dedicate maybe i try and do like a thousand stitches a month i think just to keep it going i've got like oh no that wouldn't be enough that would last and make it last another year i've got like thirty thousand stitches left so and I, I want this one finished next year we've got a framer coming to the retreat in july she's brand new um oh, i think her name is lisa and her her frames are so affordable so i would like it to be fully finished um by july and pick it up at the july retreat that would be amazing i would love that um but we'll see i just i take on too much stuff guys like not even just stitching stuff just you know i've got so many things um my sister asked me to make some cushions for her in the summer and i've still got her fabric sat in bags like <laughs> i need to just prioritize things um so yeah what is next so next oh i don't think you will have seen this so I'm pretty sure at the last video I was bitching because I had not had my fabrics for my Bellas. Um, so this is the one that I wanted to be working in on in October. This is Greta Gold Broom. Um, so I got... Where did I get? I think I got all the patterns and the beads and the sparkly threads from lakeside but i was waiting on the fabrics from pole stitches and i feel really bad because yes i did bitch because they took like three months to come but they were worth the wait um so this one is still in the hoop um so sorry about that but here she is so i've had two nights on her just working on the dress and i did just a couple of beads just because i wanted to see if i could bead <laughs> before i did all all because i've never beaded before and look at this fabric how gorgeous is that it's opalescent um this one is called celebrations of roses um, and then I've got my witch's hat Ooh, with the dangly bit. And I think that's from Denkai Designs, I think she's called. Um, but yeah. So really happy with how that's coming on. I thought I would hate working from a pattern because everything that I do is on Pattern Keeper. Um, but now I've got the Lowry, I use my needle minder just to hold the the, the pattern up here um, and it's going so quick, I'm, I'm really surprised. So I've actually bought more patterned, <laughs> um, paper patterned patterns from doing this because now I know that I enjoy it and it doesn't really slow me down. So, so yeah, that's really exciting. Um, and I'm hoping to have her enough done so I can finish her at the Bella Retreat in May. That would be really exciting. That would be quite an achievement. Um, and I made a new bag for her to live in. So this is a super sparkly one. Um, and this has got sparkly fairies on it. Um, yeah, I've got marks all over it already but you know this is what she's gonna live in um 
Jane Dumford. I'm sure some of you will know her or have met her from other retreats. She told me to where to get the sparkly vinyl from, so I'm super happy with that. Um, so next one, last one that I've worked on in this last week. Sorry for the crinkle. Um, so I've I bought this at the knitting and stitching show. Um, and I've been looking for it everywhere and it's been sold out. I'm super excited. <laughs> um, so it's all folded already, but this is the reindeer from Cottage Garden Samplings. Obviously everybody's worked on the fox, you've all seen that one. Um, and I was gonna stitch on the bear, but I was wanted to see them all. And then I saw this one and I was like, that is the one. I absolutely love it. Um, but I wanted to do something different with the fabric um it's a bugger to stitch on but i've spent two nights stitching on it and i'm loving it <laughs> so this is what i'm doing it on and you can see how it's coming together i've done the legs hopefully you can see that um this gray color is not fun on this fabric so this is 28 count opalescent supernova um, from Kate at Sparkly so I bought this at the knitting and stitching show as well and it's absolutely gorgeous um, I'm doing it two, two over two um, and the coverage looks great I'm really happy with that um, and then I've got my Agnes Needle Minder on there as well so yeah I'm gonna try and I want this to be finished by the end of January, I think. It's coming along so well. I just, yeah, really love it. <laughs> so yeah, two nights. I think I've only actually spent about three or four hours on it. And it's, let me tell you how many colors it is. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 colors, that's it. So it's a lot of block stitching, it goes really, really quick. Um, and you can see I've done the front legs and the underbelly already. So yeah, I think a few weeks of working on this and it will, it will just fly. <laughs> so that is that one. And I'm using my extra special bag when, when I take the threads off it. I'm a messy stitcher, guys can't help it um so my bag i think i might have shown you this this is from sarah at not enough whip bags and i just fell in love at, with this at our october retreat it's like a full panel and then it's got all the twinkly stars just on the back so that is gonna live in there Yay, crinkle crinkle sorry and then just quickly to finish up all the whips um, if you have got my winter box, if you've ordered a win winter box, uh, look away now um, because this is going to be the pattern. This is exclusive for the winter boxes, but I think I'll release it next winter. Um, and this is what I designed. How cute! -y. It came out so much better than expected. Um, so Andrea was so kind. She. Um, she offered to do the model stitch so I sent her a kit basically what you would get in the winter box um yeah and she stitched it up for me and I just love it so I'm gonna get that framed um and display that oh yeah <laughs> so that is that one right I am gonna pause a minute I'm gonna grab another coffee and I will be right back I'm back. <laughs> the only problem with sitting in the conservatory in winter is that your coffee goes cold super, super quick. So, um, and it is early and I need more coffee. So, next thing I'm going to do is go through the haul and what we made at the knitting and stitching show. So, if you only came for the whips, then thank you so much for joining. But you're probably not going to enjoy the rest so um, I'll see you next time but everybody that wants to carry on watching I'll show you what we did so they had various different classes on throughout the four days which in a separate haul they had them um, 
like makeshift classroom set up um, so they were people from like small shops that were coming to share their products and what they what they sell but then you got to make a sample of it as well which was so good um so the first one we did was some bargello i'm hoping i'm saying that right um and i'm going to share with you her card um i think her name was narissa and she was incredible she was she's a very talented lady um very good speaker I could have chatted to her all day. She was so funny and witty. Um, but she has some gorgeous, gorgeous um, patterns and projects. So she gave us a sheet with all the different sort of simple Bargello um, patterns to follow. And then she let us raid her wool stash and gave us some plastic canvas. And we made wall hangings. So I'll show you what i made so i didn't get to finish it all off in the class um so i finished it off that evening when i got home so it's just like a wooden dowel with the yarn wrapped around so yeah and then did the little tassel um this is very very addictive it goes super super quick so i would say this was made in probably what did we have maybe an hour of doing this in the class and then um maybe i spent an hour and a maybe an hour an hour and a half when i got home so two and a half hours and then you've got a finished wall hanging um and this is just on 10 count plastic canvas um using this was anchor tapestry yarn and a and a tapestry needle um no knotting you just weave the yarn in and out. I mean, the back looks a little bit messy because it was the first time I've done it, but that is the back. So you just tuck the yarn underneath. Um, so yeah. So that is gonna be displayed in my craft room. It's got a little hook. Um, and I've bought some more so I can make a cushion it was lots of fun and you can do some really good patterns andrea bought one of her kits and that was to make uh, like a box bag i think she's going to use it as like a craft box um but yeah the, the woman is great so do check her out on instagram she's called the bargello edit hopefully you will see that maybe maybe not um i'll put it down below um, yeah, you'll see she's got fantastic branding, loads of different things. And she's got a book that you can buy as well. Um, and her website is thebargelloedit.com. So yeah, that, that was fun. That was what we got in there at half eight in the morning to do the class. And then I think the event didn't actually open until 10 i think so we did an hour and a half lesson with her and then when we come out it had just officially opened so that was good to get like early access um and it meant we got parked as well so i think we'll do that next time <laughs> um so the next one we did um well the final one we did was at the end of the day and that was making christmas baubles the woman was lovely she was from sunflower stitches come on there we go um and she she's got a website as well so it's sunflowerstitches.co.uk um i didn't enjoy this as much it wasn't what i expected i thought it was going to be more like um making so on the on the photo it had a picture of a little nutcracker man um so i thought we were going to do more like beads and metal and metal work um but it wasn't it was making a bauble um and also it was no so so it was just like pressing the fabric into the bauble but it's quite effective so she gave us a pack of patterns they were pre um a pack of fabrics they were already pre-chosen so you didn't get to choose your colors or anything because i wouldn't have chosen these colors but um i've got it anyway so this is the bauble that we made all sparklies in it and it, it's just like a polystyrene ball and they carved 
segments in them with a craft knife and then you like worked the fabric into the ball so there's no sewing anywhere and then it's just got i don't know if you'll be able to see it's just like a pin at the bottom that holds it together and a pin in the top oh you can see it there look there's just a pin and that holds the ribbon in place so by the time we'd done our thumbs were red raw and it's like three days late two days later and my uh, my thumb's still a little bit tender now so i won't be making these again but it was good to learn something new so yeah there we go that was the class that we did in the afternoon and the classes range i think like anywhere from like 15 to 30 pound um, and that's because they give you all of the equipment to do it so whatever you need to make um you know even down to like all the fabrics needles um like they let you use their scissors but you have to give them back they, it said on the on the info to take your own sewing kit but we didn't take it out once so they were really good really well prepared um i wish that we'd done a quilting one um after going around the the show but maybe next time so going on from that i'm going to go into the hall so i was so oh well let me take a step back i i've known for a while that i wanted to do quilting because i have two boxes of scraps of fabric <laughs> that i've been keeping um with the intention of doing quilting i have no idea where to start i've just got a normal sewing machine it's not one where you can do all the swirly bits or embroidery or anything like that um but i want to give it a go and there was this lady um her company is called Sea Parrot and she had um, like not big quilts more like picture frames and stockings and small panels that she had made into decorative pieces from doing quilting and they weren't overly intricate or complicated but they were very effective um, this is an example of one of them on the back of a business card so this was actually there so you've got these panelled birds and then in the same size just different fabrics and then popped in a frame and I thought that's it that's an easy one to start with um she had some penguin ones in a stocking if I can find the photo I will put it up because it was very very good um she didn't have any of them left because bear in mind we went on the last day a lot of things had sold um but she did have these robins so what you do is you cut your panel out and then that is your that is your picture like you can see on the business card um so I'm gonna have a go I don't think I'll be able to do a stock in my sewing skills are not <laughs> the best i'm a i'm a totally one trick pony i can make project bags and that is about it i've had so many failed attempts at clothes and things over the years um and then the other one that i got were these little puffins um so this one my plan is to do really tiny squares and turn this into a large picture um and i will either keep it or i will gift it to my sister because she likes all the handmade stuff so yeah these were so cheap they were like a pound 50 so yeah i will i will be buying more from her she said that she gets stuff printed up really quickly so if i still wanted the penguins which i might do um they only take like a couple of weeks so yeah that's from the sea parrot so that was that one um i got myself some fabric which i loved this this is gonna be some winter animal bags so 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 cute so i will be making some bags for myself and anybody else who wants one and um where to go next i've got that much stuff i don't know which one to do next so the next one is a company called spellbound beads and andrea had she wanted to specifically go to this stand because she'd seen it on instagram i think 
and they basically make decorations solely out of beads so there's no cross stitch no fabric nothing like that um they had so many decorations my favorite one was a swan um it was a white swan sat on the top of a bauble and then it dangled down in all like crystals and then there was a band of small swans and then more dangling things and the ba bauble sat in the middle so it was like a cover for your bauble um it was like 30 pound and we asked about it and it had sold out so that's how popular it was it was stunning and then they had these um peacock ones as well um but i wanted one that wasn't overly christmas so i could hang it up in my craft room all year round um and i saw this one sorry it's gonna be a bit glary because it's in the packet um and i just thought it was stunning it reminds me of something that you would see like at an indian wedding it was beautiful so i'm gonna make that at some point probably when i've got some time off over christmas and this is all the beads um and there is instructions i've not opened it i hope they're really good instructions because <laughs> i'm gonna need it um but yeah i'm quite excited about that one and this one cost me 12 pound 50 and that's spellband beads um andrea got a couple i think um then i just got a couple of patterns so this is the stitching bee from little house needleworks and they had this made up into like a little box um like a little trinket box which i thought looked really nice and this is a little quick stitch so this one would be good to take to like one of the day stitching sessions um yeah really like that one and this was dead cheap it was a fiver so yeah love that one and then from kate at sparklies she had an area that was for you to sit down and just go through her pattern books so she had them all in folders and there were loads i bought a f i bought a few um but this was one of them that i bought which i think is so cute and i've been wanting to make a pin cushion for the longest time and it's the little white rabbit from alice in wonderland and then on the back it's got instructions of how you put it together um so i have no idea when i'm gonna do this but i will at some point because he's so cute look at his little face and his little heart nose love it <laughs> um so next ones i got i don't know why i bought these their stand was amazing so this is um the thimble wood here is i can't show that because it's a, a voucher um but this is their company thimblewood have a look on their instagram it is amazing they sew like some are felt and some are fabric and they're all like little toys and ornaments and things they had so many christmas decorations i wanted to buy this little mouse but he was sold out um now i tried making dolls when lizzie was little and I couldn't do it and I had a go at yesterday at my kit and I couldn't do it <laughs> so I made the doll but I messed up on the dress so I made this which is a little fairy that goes on the top of the tree um and you got to choose your colors I'll show you what I've made so far um so <laughs> she's got no arms but this is this is where she's at she's got some thick hips going on um yeah so I got so far but then i really messed up the dress really messed it up so i'm gonna have to go back and unpick and anybody who knows me knows that i don't frog anything so i got mad at it it got put back in the box and got shunned to a corner but i really wanted to have this finish because she's a tree topper she's not just a doll she sits on the top of the tree as your fairy so yeah i really wanted her to be done but oh well um, and then the next one I got, which will have to be like a summer pattern, I think. But he was just so cute. And this is made from felt. So I'll show you what you get in it. So you get the pattern. And then she gives you a bit with all the bits to cut out. Um, and then you get the full pack of all the felt pieces. And then all the stuff is as well. So I think the angel, which has got a lot more in it, was maybe 
no, tw 20, 28 ish. Um, it, well, it cost me 47 altogether for the angel and the gnome. And then we went back later because there was a gingerbread house made out of felt that was a tissue box. Um, and Andrea regretted not buying it, so she went back. And then we also saw this made up, which looks like a little beach house. But when you open it up, it's a sewing kit. So your scissors go in there. You've got places to put your threads um and your needles it was just the cutest little thing and then it's got a seagull in the middle um she said this is the one of the easier ones to make so i'm wondering if i should start with this one first um and this is mainly just made from like fat quarters so yeah maybe i should start with this one <laughs> um but that one that one was so cute um, and I think she charges £8 for her patterns and they've got a website as well. Their website is da, 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 So Thimble Wood on Etsy. But you should check them out. They they were awesome and they were so so lovely, the people working on the stand. Um, so next, I've got my fancy ladies. Now, I said that I was never going to stitch any fancy ladies and then now I'm addicted <laughs> and I've only started stitching one Bella um, but I think when you see them in the flesh so we've been to the Yorkshire stitching group and I saw is her name Lynn I can't remember her name I'm shocking with names um and she had like three big mirabilias out with all the beadwork and they were all finished I, I I couldn't even sort of describe how beautiful it is um, and I want to be able to achieve that. So I've got my Greta. Um, at the same time, I ordered this one. So this is Gaia the Earth Goddess. And I was waiting on my fabric and this is what I've ordered. This is what I've decided to go for. This is opalescent again. You might not be able to see because it's because uh, of the packaging. This is just called Earth, and that's on Pole Stitches. On their website, I w if you're into the Bellas and the Mirabilias, I would recommend you going on because she has all the different fabrics, and then she's got the ones that she recommends, and it shows you like a mock-up of the pattern on that fabric. Um, and I really liked it. I thought it was a good effect. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but anyway um it's a little bit darker than what it's showing up a lot darker yellow but i think that will that will look gorgeous um so but what i actually got at the retreat i got two patterns i i've been looking at this one for a long time this is the butcher's is it the butcher's wife it's called or the baker's wife baker butcher's wife geez um <laughs> that would explain why she's got cupcakes <laughs> um and i got this one from kate at sparklies looking at it for a while it reminds me very much marie antoinette and i'm very into my history um so yeah i love her i don't always like the faces of them and that sounds a bit weird i'm sure but i really like her face so yeah i was happy with that um, I didn't buy anything to go with it. I just bought the pattern. So I don't know when I'm going to start that one. And then I said I wasn't going to do any mermaids because I'm not a mermaid person. But oh, look what fell in my basket. <laughs> so this one's called Soul Tropicana. Um, and I love the hair. Actually, that was the hair against the tropical flowers. That's what made me choose it again no idea when i'm gonna start it but <laughs> i bought it anyway um i bought another fabric from sparklies and i've already got an idea of what is going on there so i've been designing a fabric from which took inspiration from um a wood panel in one of the palaces in morocco um but i converted it to be in more springtime colors um and these are the colors that i'm using so i think they're going to look fabulous on that 
um, and that is an opalescent as well. This is 32 count opalescent and this was fabric of the month in April 2022. We can see some of the shiny there. I'm all for opalescent. I don't know where that's come from, but that's my new jam. Um, and then my last thing, when I'd said that I was sold up, or spent up and I wasn't going to buy anything else, we went to Serena's store. Bear in mind I've already pre-ordered a Chatelaine. So the night before I was watching Teresa Little Stitcher go round at the No Bam retreat and she went round and it was showing what everybody was working on. And I was totally enabled. There was about five patterns <laughs> that I wanted after that. But one that really, really stood out to me was this one. Um, it doesn't look anything special, I don't think, on the picture. But I saw it on the video and I was really, really impressed. So this is a Mirabilia and this is Botanical Garden. And... Zarina had the packs. I'll just show you. They were all priced up individually, but you could pick and choose what you wanted in them, which I thought was fantastic. Now I've got more CMC than I'll probably ever use. I've got so much, and I'm on Lakeside's monthly delivery, so you can get the full DMC kit by the end of the year. Um, but what I don't have is any of the specialty threads. So what I said to her was, can I just buy the pattern and all the beads and all the threads? Um, so you get the water lilies. Oh, look at the colour of that. Wow. And Krynik. And then all of the beads. <laughs> Which look at this one absolutely gorgeous um, and then obviously the full pattern um, and she charged me 40, 40 something for all of that and I thought that was really good um, you will know if you live in the UK trying to get hold of the right beads and specialty threads is not an easy feat I usually end up having to order them in parts from different places which is no fun um, and if all else fails they end up ordering them from 123 Stitch uh, which are a great company um, it just takes a few weeks to come through but if I can get them all from Zarina I am well happy with that um, so I got that and then I'd already been to Kate at Sparklers by this point but then I thought wow well, I need something to stitch it on and I did this was just plain 28 count even weave just in a, a baby pink so I definitely didn't want the fabric with it so I went back over sorry crinkle crinkle and I got this one which again I don't know if you're going to see it is an opalescent but it's in very pale pinks and slightly purpley colours um, and this is fabric of the month um, for October 2022 this is 32 count so the beads might not fit on as well as the other but they are all small beads there's no real big ones um, yeah and, and she didn't charge me very much for that at all so I'm all ready for it. It's all kitted up. When I'm going to start it, I don't know. That might be one to do for the No Bam Retreat in October. I've got a problem, guys, and I'm aware of it. <laughs> but to be fair, if you are here, then you probably got a problem too. <laughs> so, yeah, I all in all, buying Andrea's Chatelaine as well, excluding light lunch and everything, I think I probably spent about £250. But it was worth it i'm happy <laughs> um so yeah that's what i've been up to it's probably going to be december the next one which is crazy if you're a part of the floss friends group we're doing a stitch and chat drop-in session and it's the first friday in december um if you go to the events section you can um just join the chat straight from there and that's at 7 30 and I think it's like the 2nd of December. Um, and we all just come together. You don't have to talk if you don't want to. But 
it's a great place to get to know people you just choose a whip to work on and it's just like you've got a bit of company i think last time we were on till like half 12 um and i was exhausted i was like right ladies i have got to go <laughs> um but it, it was a lot of fun um and then obviously if you want to join us on the retreat just drop us a message there is still some tickets left i think there may be one vendor slot left as well so if you're a small shop and you want to join us at a retreat then we would love to have you there will be around i want to say 60 to 70 people there so there's plenty of um plenty of opportunity to get people to see your your work um so yeah just drop me a message um and oh and just before i forget the giveaway so if you want to choose a small project from my website then just comment small and if you want a full coverage one then um put full in the comments you do have to like you have to be subscribed you have to be over 18 because i'll need your email address all that um and don't put giveaway or freebie in the comments um and i will pick that next time so i think that's all from me that means i need to go and do my iron in now <laughs> um but happy stitching everyone and i will see you soon bye